you don't actually have to be fitting a lens yet to be involved and being active in myopia management. And I think an easy first step would be to get yourself comfortable with, with the research behind it, understand what it all means, and just start talking to patients about it. I don't think it needs to be a specialised area, and I think it should just become part of your normal correction. If you're going to correct a child who's myopic, what's going to be your first port of call, I wouldn't be advocating single vision lenses. I would point out that it's that younger age that we want to target because you know, myopia is going to progress over time, certainly through childhood. That conversation would start really before they become myopic. You know, if you're seeing them from a young child through very low levels of hyperopia, especially if they've got one or two parents myopic, you start having that conversation early so that you sow that seed right from an early onset. Even if they're emotropic um, and less hyperopic than they should be at, say, six years old, so they should be about plus one inch. So if they're kind of plus 050 or less, actually, we need to have a conversation and it's all then about playing outdoors. If you're having that conversation about it, um, the parents are not sure what to do, I'd certainly get them back in six months and review the situation and you can clearly see if they've shifted half a day up during that stage. It's a clear indication that you want to do something about it. And so leaving them for one year just to wait and see is probably not the great option. You want to start at that age where that myopia progression is kind of on that faster slope. So yes, fitting the, an older child with, with a MySight lens or ortho K is fine. It will slow the myopia progression, but most of that will have already occurred. To be most effective and see greater efficacy, you want to start as early as you can. So I would be advocating starting as soon as that myopia starts developing. In terms of the contact lens market in the UK, people haven't traditionally been fitting young kids with contact lenses. They may not feel comfortable with it and I think that's some of the barriers to it. I wouldn't say myopia control with children is a walk in the park. You'll get some kids who just switch onto it straight away and others need a little bit of work out. In the first session, I may not even get a lens in. It may just be all about building a rapport with the child, with the patient. If you're concerned it's going to take too long or you're not getting anywhere really that first visit, we just give them some homework to do. So the homework's pretty simple stuff. It's just being able to you know, wash the hands appropriately, you know, look at their eye up close in the mirror, and then being able to touch, we just explain to them, touch the white part of your eye with a clean finger, and being able to hold the eyelids open so they can see kind of the white all the way around. Some YouTube videos YouTube. on, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> on um, kids putting in contact lenses, just say, oh, others can do it, oh, so can I. In the practice, we'll sometimes uh, ask the child uh, from, from the first visit from very young children if they want to put the contact lens into our eye. Mm -hmm. And you show them how to do it once, and without fail, they can all do that. You hold still and you say, Come on then. Yeah. <laughs> and they can all, because they can all do it. I, I hold my eye open, and effectively, all they're doing is Which bringing is it easy, forward, yeah. and they can, they can all do that. And then they're so excited about the fact that they yeah. did that. I've had adults faint on me. Yeah, no children. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say that if anything, it's, it's easier with children because they, they don't faint. <laughs> I found um, Kate Gifford's myopia profiler really useful when I started, yeah. just as a way to go through with the parent and the child what the risk factors were, what the options were. I would tend to find that with younger children, it takes longer for parents to get on board, and very rarely would they want to take on the, the myopia management contact lenses immediately. Often that's where you can give them things to take home, to talk to other family members about. I certainly wouldn't push too hard with the with the younger ones, um, and usually over, you know, you're seeing them back in six months to check in and usually over six to twelve months I find that, I don't know if you guys have seen, mm. start to come, come round. They come round to it because it's not a new concept anymore. Yeah, and they see the child progressing yeah. and they say, oh, yeah. this is happening. I think once the parents, if they're not contact lens wise themselves, once they see As, the lens yeah. and feel it yeah. and realise how yeah. thin it is, how light, yeah. you know, w w what the sensor is and perhaps yeah. letting the parent put a contact lens in their own eyes and realise what, what sensation it's going to be yeah. like as yeah. well. And take the sort of unknown out of it all. Mm, yeah. I think different parents want different amounts of um, information um, and you can see them sort of glaze over at points and you think I've reached the, the limit of what they need. Yeah I, I probably go into a bit too much detail yeah <laughs> I do I do I do spout a lot of numbers it really helps as well for them to understand what realistic expectation they're coming out with because a lot of them want to stop it and you have to manage that you're not going to stop it you're going to slow it down. You just really want to stage things, but I think you have to just get a feel for that. It's all brand new to them. You don't want to be jumping in there saying, and by the way, they're 10 times more likely to have their retina mm -hmm. peel off. There have been instances where um, if contact lenses were mentioned as, a, as part of an approach for myopia management, the parent has come back and complained because of cost issues. Mm -hmm. It's not an option for them. So we've had to um, look at ways that we can actually introduce myopia management in front of the child with the parent mm. 
quote giving options and maybe using the leaflets that are available and the studies that are available to actually sort of um, sow the seed. I have heard of practitioners having someone come back in and without the child and get angry and say, we've built this up for them and they're really scared now and we can't afford it and I blame you entirely. Um, And so I've sort of dialed it back a bit myself and I've I've let them ask for the information instead of giving too much um, because I think you're right, there is a tipping point. Trying to gauge what that is for different people is impossible. So I try to just introduce the idea and let them ask questions because some of them want you to email them all the studies and others just want you to just say what you say, what you think they should Mm -hmm. do and that's it. Once parents become involved or engaged with any sort of myopia control strategy, they're always going to be asking you for the Mm up-to-date evidence and what's new, has things changed, do we still carry on wearing it the same way? And so I think it's important for any ECP that wants to get involved in this area is for them that it's um, a knowledge that it's not, you know, they might know about it now, but that's an evolving process and they've got to continue engaging with with the literature and the research to keep up to date. We found with um, trying to get people in for myopia management that just targeted advertising was a a way to go. So we um, found local schools, local mums particularly, and then things like Facebook where uh, if we had uh, one mum who enjoyed the service she could tell other people about about that. And I think that was quite important for us building some confidence in it as well because if you just sit and wait for the patients to come in there's maybe not huge numbers and then you, you perhaps lose a little bit of momentum or confidence. But uh, So we really tried hard to, to target um, the right people to build our confidence.